So guys, we are officially back with more of the Phantom Pain. So what I'm currently about to do is I'm about to just go beast mode. Uh, this is going to be the start of a really long recording session. My goal is to just, I want to beat this game in a timely manner. Because I don't want it to get hung up for weeks on end. So uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to give you guys 110%. Thank you so much for all your support so far. Keep it up and I'll keep cranking these out. And with that being said, we're about to start the next mission. The last two videos were four missions total. Um, I've counted there's like 30, 32 or 33 missions total in the game. So I don't know if they're all like that. I'm sure different parts of the story will start kind of getting intertwined uh, with everything else. So with that being said, let's do this. And thank you guys for watching. Boss, locate and bring back the U.S. military's new weapon codenamed Honeybee. The CIA put it in the hands of the Hamid group of Mujahideen. But the Hamid fighters were wiped out. The Honeybee must still be hidden at their base, the fort at Desmasi Laman. Unfortunately, the Soviets are looking for the weapon as well. You have to get to it before they do, and bring it back here. There's a photo of the target on your eye droid. One more thing. Apparently, one of the Hamid fighters survived. He's missing. But if you can find him, he might lead us to the target. Good luck, boss. So check this out. I just noticed recovery the honey bee weapon system. I'm gonna hop out, right? Go ahead and reload that. I don't know why you start with seven bullets. Alright, so the good news is... We can go either way to get there. If we follow along this way, it's longer. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll take this path right here. If I go the other way, there's two, there's two enemies right there at the start. Which doesn't really make much sense. The cool thing is, I noticed that... Uh, it said it said guest starring Skullface, which is the guy from Ground Zeroes with the cowboy hat and the uh, skull for a face, Looked like a giant skeleton almost. And it has Ocelot's name and Miller's name, so I'm guessing that when it says guest starring, that means there's going to be cutscenes and a lot of dialogue between the characters. It's not just going to be one of these things over and over. This game, I I was reading where I watched a few reviews on this game just to see what people's yeah. thoughts of it were. And they're exactly what I think. I like the fact that it kind of gives you a chance to make your own story and not necessarily watch, you know, 30 minutes of cutscenes yeah. and then, you know, you're just kind of part of it. And it's more about whoa, whoa. the director of the game's story more so than your own. Uh, I, I kind of like that, though, because it, it, it's going to make the memorable moments from this game something that you created and not something that was just given to you. So right now, the memorable moments for me are running from everything. <laughs> I'm going to cut upside the mountain right here. I'm guessing we could just stay along this path. Yeah, we're good. I might do a little cut editing. Uh, just because I want to make this... Well, I want to get the most out of each video. And like a lot of the riding around. We understand that the game is huge. Uh, so thank you for all your support. And I'll kind of do a little bit of cutting here and there with the combat. And I guess if things kind of get drug out a little bit. We'll just kind of fast forward through some of the more boring stuff. Alright guys, we're coming up on what looks like a relay base. I don't know if we can skip it. I don't know, I kind of want to keep going. There's a gunship surrounding that thing. That's going to be crazy. I don't know about that. Hang on, let me just look. As long as there's not like a ton of enemies, I'll probably try to secure this base. Alright, we got that guy. We got somebody laying down. What is that? I'm guessing that some of the side missions that you get involved with, you can actually... Oh, no. Is that prisoner the Hamid survivor? If he is, he has to know something about the honeybee. Oh, shit. I gotta take everyone out before they kill him. So what I'm gonna do... I will call my horse later. I guess I could get on foot right here. Let's go ahead and do that. We're, we're close enough. And there's the thing I didn't want to really do is rush parts like this. Yeah, 
I do want to go ahead and hurry up and get to the main objective, but I feel like this is a huge thing, so... Oh, let's go this way. I'll do my best to not get spotted, but... Again, no promises. Try to collect as much stuff as we can as well. Nothing there. Okay, that guy's got a light shining right over here. That's not good. Maybe I can go along this side wall right here, maybe? Let's try that. Yeah, this looks like the right way to go. Kind of come up behind that guy, maybe. Such a fantastic game. I, I just love it. So there's a few games that come out this year that I thought, okay, they're really good. But they're not, like, groundbreaking, if you would. I wonder if I can shoot this guy. Okay, he should just take a nap here in a minute. And I might do the same for this guy. Alright, now I'm just going to chill and wait. But uh, you had Bat Batman Arkham Knight. Amazing game. Probably one of my top three for the year. Uh, after you beat it, it has a great grasp of the story. Mixed with just the element of exploring. There's a ton of side missions. I thought that was a really good single player game. And then you had Dying Light... Which had a really strong story, but after you beat the game, there's not a lot left. I feel like this kind of falls in between both of those. Where it's got it's got a good amount of story. It's got an even better amount of... You know what? Let me try to like... Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Extraction failed. Damn it. I would move him out in the open, but I don't think it matters too much. Go ahead and disable this. Either destroy that or turn it off to shut off all the lights and surveillance cameras in the outpost. But of course, the enemy will realize something's up. If you're gonna do it, be quick. Yeah, they definitely took that guy that was there. Which sucks. Hmm. What was that? Shit. They just took someone. I don't want to use too much of my ammo because the suppression will definitely break. I have magazine clips. I got infinite. How do they not hear that? So no one hears that. I love it. Hello? <laughs> Try a different one. They didn't even hear that. That's crazy. Nice. They're all kind of spreading out now, so that's good. Nice and easy. Taking all kinds of supplies here. He's asleep. Nice. That was close. So, uh, I really want my horse. I think what I actually might do is start. I'm just gonna mow these guys down. No, I don't want to do that though. I saw you get a bad rating. Here, I'm gonna sneak up behind this guy, capture him. Oh. Wait for it. Alright, he's good. 
Up, up, and away you go, bitch. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Just like that movie up. We're gone. I love it. Take as many of these guys as we can. Extraction arrived at another base. Alright, I think we're in the final area right here. I could be wrong, though. We avoided the gunship. Haven't gotten spotted to a point where I would risk losing anything. I got spotted, then I'll trank them really quick. Thanks to the slow motion stuff that's put into this game. I like that. Oh, shit. No, you don't, sir. Development project has been added. We're almost there. We'll get off the horse, but it's just too many enemies spread out right here. Oh yeah, it's about to be it's about to be bad news bears in this bitch. Okay, we've made it all the way here. You have arrived at your destination. That's Marseille Fort. This is Marseille Le Mans. Now to find the honeybee. Oh shit. We got the guy in the tower right there. At the vehicle. They got that guy that they're taking everywhere, it seems like. Which he's definitely a VIP. We need to get. I see a lot of satellite dishes. Something maybe fancy in there. I'm gonna mark everybody I can find. Man, I miss playing these types of games. They really bring out, like, the best in your ability as a gamer, I feel like. See a lot of stuff like that. Reminds me of State of Decay when you have to collect all that stuff for your base. That game was difficult, man. I don't know where to start out at. I saw hop down. Take out this guy in the tower, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if I can make this shot. Alright, if it hit him, he'll go to sleep here in a minute. Which is going to be beautiful. They kind of give you that option. Like, I could easily have shot that. It might take out the whole tower and kill that guy. So there's different ways to do everything. I bet there's something in these two, like, tunnel tents right here. I'll wait for this guy to catch some Zs really quick. Are we good? We're in business, guys. Suppressor's getting really low. So there's nothing back here. Never mind. Thought they opened up at least. No? Alright then. Let me make sure I see everyone. I just saw one guy right there. Two guys. So essentially I want to get to that guy right there. Gotta find the honeybee. Apparently that guy does know something about it. What am I doing? I'm gonna steal the supplies. Climb up here. I wanna maybe just leave that guy alone, who knows? I love how there's so much opportunity to just murder everyone. I love it. take this poster probably that gives you more stuff or whatever so so you can't go in every door wait you can't actually just takes a minute nice common metal I will take that thank you very much oh yes This is the most thorough mission I've had so far. I just don't want to mess it up by getting antsy. How How is all this stuff just laying here? It's basically giving it to me. Oh shit, not the... That doesn't mean what I think it means, does it? So a sandstorm's come in. 
limited visibility and hearing. Be careful not to move around carelessly, stumble upon the enemy. However, markers are still effective there. Just make sure you place them in Sand advance. Storms effectively make you blind and deaf. But that goes for the enemy too. Use the situation to your advantage. Nice. These guys don't know I'm here. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Ooh. I feel like I'm not alone up here. I gotta be really careful. Please be alone. Oh, there's a wall right there. Are you kidding? Oh, nice. My suppressor's about to break. I gotta move this guy quick. Something next to me, I don't care. Oh no. I'm gonna watch where the enemy's going. My damn suppressor broke. Oh shit. You kidding? Oh, thank goodness. Oh shit, time to go. It's taken. One too many. Shit, no, 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 no. Take all the posters we can. Please select a strike point. Support helicopter requested. What? The prisoner's dead. There goes the one person who knew the location of the target. So check this out. I was running around and I found it. It is essentially a rocket launcher. You are not to use the honeybee. The order was to recover it with its ammunition. What if I want to use it? They can't stop me, can they? I don't know. They probably they probably will. They probably shoot me down. Uh, let's dismiss that helicopter. I called an air support just a minute ago, so that took a lot longer to, to basically find than I thought it would. Where can I get picked up at? A support helicopter Roger. requested. Oh no. We gotta get out of here. This thing is huge. What? They expect me to just be stealthy with this on my back? I don't know about that. This would be so sick if I could use it though. I'm pretty sure I can and get away with it, but it might take points off my overall score, which I feel like... What the hell? Oh shit! 